Okay, we're going to pollinate this African violet species. This is uh, St. Paul, your iron uh, We're going to pollinate it with uh, this blossom of Carmel's Rare Jewel. Okay, so I have the plant here, and the blossoms, the stigmas are ready, I believe they are. Not quite sure, but you can see a little bit that the stigmas are sort of white. And so, what I do is, I will set this back for a second. I have a product called a Veggie Bee. And what I do is, I remove the blossom from the, from the plant of the pollen parent. This is Carmel's Rare Jewel. I bend it back so that I can just see the anthers. And the tool, what it does is it vibrates. So it vibrates like a toothbrush. And I see if I can do it so you can see it. Ah, uh, let's see. And so I vibrate the anthers onto this black paper, gift wrap paper. You can see the pollen comes out. It's a lot of pollen. All right. That's the easiest way of doing it. And then I take my finger. I already did this before, so you can see pollen on it already. I rub the pollen against the my finger against the pollen. Gets on my finger. And then I return it back to the plant. Let's see. Make sure that's in focus. And I just do this. To each one of them. It's a pretty quick process. And I have a little tag that I put on them. And I put them on the stem. And then I just wait. And the neat thing with species is that the you know that they are pollinated because the blossoms are going to fall off. So I'll try to do a video of, to show the blossoms falling off. Here's a picture of the seed pod from the species Ionatha plant and the uh, Carmel's Rare Jewel that I pollinated uh, about 24 days ago. And so this is a nice size seed pod. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like to pollinate with uh, species plants because the blossoms drop off and then you could just see the seed pod and could focus on that and see how large it is. And that's that.